Today, we will look into four different vocodas by remaking Don Diablo's Day and Night. We will learn how to use Manipulator, Vocal Synth, Vocoder V, and the Ableton Vocoder. I'm going to show you how to set up these plugins and we will have some fun playing around with all the different possibilities. Let's go! First and foremost, you need some vocals as the basis of your sound. For demonstration purposes, I quickly recorded some myself. Don't worry about pitch too much in this case. It's not important for what we are trying to achieve later on. Day and night. We also need some MIDI to tell the vocoder what notes it should actually play. I went ahead and transcribed the original version quickly using a simple piano. If you want to reconstruct chords or a melody, I recommend using a piano like this because it makes figuring out the pitch much easier. The first plugin we look at is Manipulator. Its main use is actually just pitch and form and shifting. But if you send some MIDI into it, you can achieve a similar effect. Let's twist some knobs here and see what we can come up with. Day and night. The lonely stoner seems to free his mind at night. We can add some stereo here, for example. Day and night. Ooh, that's cool. And then, yeah, usually it's being used for form and shifting, as said. So you can pitch it down, for example. Day and night. Or pitch it up. Day and night. This case maybe not as nice form and shifting as well. Day and night. The lonely stoner seems to free his mind at night. He's all alone through the day and night. Can be cool. And then there's a bunch of these knobs that all do some weird thing that sometimes sounds really cool. Day and night. The lonely stoner seems to free his mind at night. He's all alone through the day and night. Pretty cool, lots of possibilities there. The second one is Vocal Synth. This one is pretty cool because it has different modules that you can use, turn off or mix together. For example, this is the vocoder, the very standard, normal one. But then you have something called CompuVox that sounds like this. You can mix a few of them even together like this. Or this is, for example, PolyVox. And then you have a bunch of uh, ways to manipulate these sounds. And that's really cool, for example, here. So yeah, pretty cool. I decided to go for Vocoder and CompuVox. It's kind of a cool combo. The third one here is Vocoder V by Arturia. They tried to emulate the original vocoder design by Robert Moog, or Robert Moog, I never know, in the late 70s. The way this vocoder works is that you have a carrier signal, usually a saw wave. And then you have the vocals that modulate this carrier signal. This one has a lot of different presets and a really warm vintage sound. Last but not least, we have a look at Ableton's very own vocoder. Just like in the example before, we need a carrier signal here as well. I used Wavetable to create a simple saw wave sound for that. In the vocoder, you have to set it to external and then audio from Wavetable in this case. Day and night. The lonely stoner seems to free his mind at night. Not only can you play with the vocoder settings, but you can also shape the carrier signal to get different results. To free his mind at night. At, at, at 
night, day and night. The stoner seems to free his mind at night. He's all alone through the day and night. The lonely loner seems to free his mind at night. At, at, at night, day and night. Honestly, for the fact that this plugin is already integrated in Ableton Live, it's a really nice option. I always say, don't sleep on Ableton stock plugins. Some of them are really good. That's it for today. I'm curious, which Vocoder plugin do you think was the best? And is there any Vocoder plugin out there that I am not aware of that should also be on this list? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.